happy Sunday. So welcome to back to a weekly vlog. This is my first time like coming on camera since I started this vlog. Yesterday you guys saw me get a delivery from Amazon Prime and did a little grocery haul and stuff. Sorry I didn't come on camera. Like yesterday was such a yesterday was a day i was literally hysterically crying the entire day because all of my files in final cut pro got deleted again i don't know what's going on with that software but now and again like my files go missing and my entire weekly vlog was gone and it was saturday which means that i wouldn't have been able to upload on sunday well i could have uploaded if i had pulled like an all-nighter but it was just like a lot, but it's okay because I was able to recover the files. Thank God. So it's 1.44 right now. I'm heading out to a brunch. We have a reservation at 2 p.m. So I have to head out now because I'm definitely going to be late. But I know Renee is going to be late, so I'm not even worried about it. The reservation is under her name anyways. And in certain places around here, like, they don't see you until your entire party is there. So I don't want to arrive too early and then have to be standing out front because their front area is kind of, like, in the courtyard and it's cold. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get ready to go. I'm going to show you guys my outfit really quickly, even though I filmed a getting ready with me video on this look. Hopefully, it turns out okay because I feel like I look cute. And I'm also wearing the Belle Fab wig. And I really did a good job at like masking the lace today. Um, I wanted to do like a sleek ponytail and then I did a little, you know, a slick back look and stuff. I have missed wearing my hair like this so much and I didn't really know how to do it with a wig to make it look natural, like as if I was wearing a sew-in. She is my long wig and she's a little bit, you know, she's with all the drama. So I like to just put her in like a sleek ponytail, you know, keep it cute. But um, yeah, let me show you guys my outfit because I kind of have to head out now. So for my outfit for today, I'm wearing this top from Zara. I got it from Zara a few weeks ago actually. But um, it's this asymmetric top. I would link it down below if it's still available for you guys. And then um, I had to wear a strapless bra with it. The side does not really fit. It's hanging off. But I think I'm just going to tuck it into my bra. Because I feel like that doesn't look too bad. And then I'm wearing my Mutt and Bow jeans. These are the dark blue pair. I love them. I actually downsized because I typically buy a size 27. But I've lost a lot of weight. So I'm now a size 26. So I downsized and these jeans fit so much better. I'm going to be wearing these shoes. They have like a little braided design to them. And then I'm going to just bring like my nude bag here from JWP or Pi. Don't really know what the correct pronunciation is. But that's pretty much it for the look. I'm just going to finish up and then I'm going to head right out.
right, guys, it's Sunday night. Um, I'm home. Um, as you guys may have already saw, I was doing a little musical concert for you guys. Jamming to some of my favorite songs. I love just listening to music. One of my favorite things to do for like pastime. But now I'm getting ready to do a little self-care live. Um, I tried to do a live um, at least once per week. It's kind of good to just go on live and interact with like, you know, your followers and just kind of like talk and catch up and stuff. So I thought I would hop on live today and do that. I have a whole bunch of like self-care stuff to take care of anyway, so it works out. I have to do like face masks. Actually, the lighting looks very, whoops. The lighting looks very gray, I was gonna say. sunshine so I am currently getting ready um, to start my day I have started off um, by doing my eyebrows and stuff just doing my regular simple makeup hold on where's my stuff I have my chai tea here this is the Tazo chai tea that I showed you guys earlier with 2% milk um, it's not bad, but it's not like slapping like the Starbucks one. So <laughs> I don't really know how I feel. And then all my makeup and stuff is on my tray. I just love doing my makeup from this tray because everything can fit. And I can also put my little chai tea as well. 
so monday morning what i have going on is i have to film a denim styling haul for yes style we're having an inspection of the building today as well from 10 to 4. it's currently 9 50 so i'm kind of worried that they're gonna come when i'm filming and it's gonna be so annoying but hopefully i can get out of here before that that way i can just film the video i'm filming i'm gonna do a voiceover like a total voiceover so um i don't really need it to be quiet or anything so it should should work out i also slept with my wig on my head which i'm so happy that that worked out last night because now i don't have to install my hair made it to the office as you guys can see i've been here for a few hours actually i'm now editing my yes style haul actually let me show you because i'm actually editing this haul or styling haul a little bit different than what i usually do so here's how it's going to start off like you know like putting the jeans on sneakers tucking the white tee you know, adding a blazer, a sunglasses, and a bag. I feel like that's like a really cool way to like edit, um, like a styling haul like this. Very cool. I like it. Let me know what you guys think though. I'm trying out new ways on how to edit, but oh my God, I, we ordered food. We ordered Thai food again because I'm obsessed with Thai food right now. So unfortunately, Renee has to just deal with that for a bit. But Renee's like the best, um, she's not a picky eater so whatever i want she's pretty much okay with it so that's so good that's why we're such a dynamic duo because i'm super picky and i have like a lot of like preferences and so on and so forth so yeah anyways i went to get the food and i was running and i fell in the staircase and now i can't move my foot yeah i think it's i don't think it's broken but it's like really sprained literally heard and i'm like bum bum <laughs> I was like, you did. Oh my god, it hurt so bad, you guys. But I don't know. All right, guys, we got a first aid kit. <laughs> Can you mind your business? I'm not being dramatic. My foot actually really hurts. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, what? <laughs> my foot really hurts. You don't need all that. It's safe. What is this? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna need some gauze to cut. Oh my, easy. Now we just put it on the people. Oh, it's not for us to keep? No. Oh. For the one building? Emergency blanket? Oh, I need this. This is a glow stick? Yeah, that's awesome. This is for the zombie apocalypse. This is a survival kit. A survival kit. This is not abdominal pad for a gun wound. Like, what's going on? Oh, I just don't, this is not what I wanted. You really want this kit. I need it. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is a little bit. This is a very com. I need the little, you know, the kind of brown things that you can just wrap multiple times. It, that's definitely not in there. Okay. Let's just see what this is. I think it's nothing. We're gonna have to go to like CVS or something. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, guys. This oh. is <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> All right, guys. I have freshened up, washed my face, you know, um, put the wig on, all of that. I was just talking to AJ. He was asking me how my foot is and everything. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm making some breakfast right now. I am having eggs with spinach um, and um, some hot water with lemon. It's been my go-to in the mornings now. It's been making me feel so good. Um, typically, I'm not like a plain hot water person, but it's been making me feel really good. So it's just, um, this is my mug from Crate and Barrel. You guys would have seen me post about this a thousand times. Um, Okay, my skin looks freaking amazing. I have sunscreen on and moisturizer, that's it. <sighs> Love it. So, lemon, and typically I would put one lemon, half I mean, but I'm gonna put the, I've been using the entire thing and it's not too bad to drink. I just fill up the mug because these mugs are not like traditional mugs, they're, they're fairly large. So, then I'm just gonna put the hot water and just fill it up to the top. 
and then this is just gonna cool for a little bit <sighs> yay that's a lot of lemon hot water with lemon now let's focus on breakfast i'm making eggs with spinach i've been obsessed with scrambled eggs lately i don't know what it is um in my scrambled eggs let me show you guys what the batter the batter or the egg mixture look like so it's two eggs with one egg yolk i have some parsley some red pepper flakes some cayenne pepper and a little bit of garlic powder and that's basically what it looks like and then i did add a little bit of milk to it and then i gave it a really good whisk so yeah i'm i'm going to add the spinach first and i like to do a really generous amount of spinach because I don't eat a lot of vegetables throughout the day, so I put a lot of spinach. This is a, pretty much the entire bag of spinach. Well, this is two servings, so I eat this in, in two servings. So that's about that's about how much spinach I use. Add in the egg mixture. So I'm gonna do like a semi-soft scramble. Alrighty guys, all dressed and ready. Wearing my white set again. This is from Aritzia. It's literally my go-to these days. Um, Renee just texted, she's here. We're carpooling in today. Typically I Uber into the office, but um. play loud music <laughs> what kind of foolish is this i'm going to knock on the window if it, if it continues this is not a weaver guys <laughs> <laughs> this is not, not a weaver <laughs> not just that i feel like luke is matching. i feel like luke is matching our energy now because anyways breakfast was provided today let me show you guys what we got they had yogurt you guys know i don't like yogurt but i'm what trying to i just don't think it tastes good I don't like radio with them, and this is so good. Okay, see, I was gonna say that I'm just I'm trying to like you know reprogram my mind. I'm a picky eater, so I have to just train myself to just understand like, not these things aren't bad if you They're give it a good. try. <laughs> so we have Shivani wild blueberry, and they served it with granola and some berries. Here we have the yogurty. Actually, I had breakfast this morning. You did? I had spinach and eggs. This looks very nice. And this is what we are working with. I'm gonna make you guys a little bit higher. Taste test. Okay, I'm gonna do a proper taste test. <laughs> okay. It's not bad.
Hey guys, <laughs> very thirsty today. It's Friday. I haven't vlogged much this week. I know, I know, but I just didn't really know what to vlog because for the majority of the week I was on bed rest because my foot was messed up, but I'm feeling much better. I did a lot of work and I'm going out. It's a Friday night and I'm super excited because I've just been cooped up in the house all week and I need some fresh air. So I'm heading out and I'm super excited, but I just put this wig on my head and I was thinking to myself like, whoa, it looks so wiggy. So I was thinking like, should I um, do a little layering to it? That's because I haven't really worn it that much yet. And this is also the wig that I love to wear whenever I want to do like a sleek ponytail look. So I didn't really want to cut it and then it affects the ponytail, you know, because the more you layer your hair, it's hard to get it in a ponytail without fallouts and I love using this wig for a sleek ponytail look something like that so I didn't want to layer too much but I kind of feel like I just want to do a little bit of something extra to it because I just don't like this look like to some people this look is perfect but to me it's just a little bit too wiggy so I thought I would show you guys how I've been layered my hair and again I'm not a professional all the professional hairstylists don't come for me how I layer my hair is I follow my natural bone structure. So the very first layer, what I like to do is just follow the map of my natural, like my face. So here we have my face, right? This is my forehead. This is my jaw, my cheekbone, my jaw, you know, the whole thing. So what I like to do for the very first layer, I like to take like a chunks of the hair like from this side. So this is one chunk and I try to find another chunk on the other side and I try to just make sure that they're even so this is what I start off with I always start off my layers with these portions first for the very first layer I did something like this I did short layers just above my cheekbone here and that's really what helped to just really give me like a really nice shape so that's kind of like how short I go for the first layer and it gives it a really beautiful look. And then the next layer, I will follow my cheekbone. So this one here, and it will just give like a really nice, really layered look. So that's kind of like the map I follow when cutting my hair. But I don't want to go that short because guess what? If I do, I cannot put this wig up in a ponytail and that's something that I really want this wig to be able to do. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I just layer like the hair a little bit more. I'm gonna do very subtle. I'm not gonna be as drastic as what I just showed you. But I take a scissor and I honestly, you guys, I follow the natural, like I'm basically cutting the hair going downwards. I'm gonna go from shortest to longest and that's all I do. And I do that to both sides and it's gonna have this really like natural like look to it. Just follow that same pattern. I've already done this twice today. I'm what you would call a very scissor happy person. I love to cut things. I love to cut my hair. Um, I'm so happy that my hair is short now and I have wigs to play with because I used to do this stuff on my actual hair. <laughs> but now I have wigs to play with. Here we so kind of have the finished product. I pin each section to the back a little bit. Um, this is giving me like bang vibes, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. It just gives the wig less of a wiggy look. That little front piece there, I just think that makes it look a lot less wiggy than what we were working with before. That little nice little tuck area, it's really nice. And for the lace tonight, I just used the got to be glue just right here to kind of stick it down. And I'm wearing my wig grip, as you guys know. And that's pretty much what we we're working with. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. So that's pretty much it and how I like layer the hair in a very subtle way. Um, I definitely, I'm obsessed with this like look. It just gives the hair a little bit something extra and gives it like more of a natural look. So I'm really obsessed with it. But this is pretty much it. I'm going to finish with getting ready and I'm going to head out. 
I'm going to this Italian restaurant tonight. I'm not wearing this. I'm gonna wear like another sweater over top because it's so cold out and stuff and there's a lot of cleavage. But um, yeah, this is pretty much what the hair looks like and I really hope you guys enjoy this little hair session. I finally tried those mac and cheese that I hauled on Sunday. I made the white one yesterday, which was amazing. So I'm gonna make this one today. I have been having such a big craving for mac and cheese, like baked mac and cheese. And I just don't want to make this by myself from scratch. So I'm so happy that I found a kit. All right, pasta is al dente, I think. Let's try one. Okay, something like that. And then this is just going to bake in the oven for, I believe they said 10 minutes or until the sauce starts to bubble. 